M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. I won CBU firmware, but this is a forked version because that firmware has been paused by I1 CBU, but others have carried on with uh, some, some modifications, let's call it, and that's what I'm using now. And the link to download this firmware will be in the description, and you literally just put the SD card in and turn it on, and you get this which is obviously fantastic. So let's just change to 7074. To change bands, you just go up and down in the normal way, up and down, and then select USB here. And you can tell where you are because it will show it. VFO A USB there. Right, next thing we're gonna do is press the app button. And we just want, and then this one here, we just want to make sure our power isn't too high. So we press this one next, then we look for settings. Now you do need to read the instruction manual on this because there are so many settings. But anyway, to make sure you're not, you haven't got the power too high. Uh, let me have a look now. Let's go gen. I think there's actually a shortcut. Let's press this one again and again. No, let's go general. There it is there. So you go general, and then you can cycle through until you see TX power. Right at the end, press, and then choose, oops, press, turn the top one, select your power, and you're done. So now we're gonna go app. When we press app, then FTA. Now you do need to get your call sign in, or it's not gonna work when you select TX. So we'll give it a sec and it will start to receive your FT8 stations. I'm just using a 49 to 1 ballon here with a long length of wire 66 foot long. So let's let that populate, about a minute pause and then it just suddenly appears. Of course you need to be on the right band and it does actually say USB D there. Not sure how it knows the time because I haven't told it what time it is. There's no GPS lock, so I'm quite interested uh, how it knows the time. Also, when you go to change frequency, look what it does. You can find a little gap in the FT8. There's a little gap there. If I hit TX enabled, let's see what it does. There it goes, it's TXing. We're not really receiving much. Normally when you're receiving, there's the power SWR. Of course we can still use our tuner. Battery level there, signal meter here. Now earlier I got all these green messages on screen, so I'm gonna back out. Just check, double check, 7074, antenna on. Uh, we'll move away a bit. I'm just going to tune it, although it didn't need it. Then we're going to go back to the right frequency, 7074. App, then FT8. Oh, I must have pushed the button wrong. FT8. And then USB 7074. I'm just going to wait to see if it populates with all the green bars like I had earlier. Now I sort of changed the said RX FT8 40 meters. It wasn't saying that before. It was actually saying 20 meters, which is a bit weird. Ah, there it goes, and that's done the trick. Okay, so you do have to go up and down and select it. Quite a bright screen. I don't want to play with it. So let's turn on, got some stations there. Let's do, they're all coming in now and we're just going to go TX enabled and let's just see what happens. I think it's like the second time I've ever done this. There it goes. I mean, it's only two watts. I'm not expecting much. And the antenna isn't great. And the SWR isn't great either. I might just retune it. It 
So just give it a go, I think. You can see it's working. Auto is enabled. F4 LCO. And I believe that when you do get a contact, it changes color. Let's try get it. Let me change power now. Let me go gen TX power. Let's go up a bit. We're not going to go for long, are we? Okay. Back to app FTA. Oh, it says it's set to maximum five watts anyway. And remember, we went up and down with the band. I just need to make sure it says 40. Let that kick back in. TX enable. There it goes. Power looks about three and a half watts. Right, SWL is better. It's nearer to four watts now. I'm gonna run run for a few minutes, and um, fingers crossed. Can we can we move this? Oh look, we can actually move and select someone. So I could go to say that one. I just selected that station. Press the MFK. See if we can contact. Is it two e zero L O D? We've got M seven R L P there. And you know you can see the messages, Roger, Roger seventy three. I'm sure you could probably set the delay times and everything. And then. When you want to stop using this firmware, you just take the SD card out. It's literally that easy. I just leave it in there all the time, and whenever I want to use the original Zygu firmware, I just take it out and pop it on top. If anything, it would make sense to buy a little holder for an SD card, just stick it on top, wouldn't it? Alright, well I think that's enough for now, 7-3 all the best.